as we kind of come into our final minutes of this session, Ingrid, um, I guess I just want to acknowledge that I'm touched by your story. Uh, I'm touched by the love that you carry beyond the grave, uh, really giving it a place in you as you carry it with you through a life that continues to be touched by her absence, but also by her strength. And it feels like a, a kind of offering to her that you don't only reserve for her birthday, but in some important way she's with you all year round. And I wonder what, if you have any thoughts or questions or concerns for me in these last moments, the last minutes of our session too, just about anything we've spoken about or where you would like to go with this. There's, I've, I think I've realized that through hearing this that I've tried to keep her in a box and get the feeling very much in a box, whereas it's, it, I will feel better not putting it in a box, but having her help me through it. Okay. Maybe I would feel better not putting her in a box, but having her help me through it. I don't think uh, anyone could say it any better than that. Because I just think it's a very negative thing. Maybe it's not a negative thing. Maybe it's not a negative thing. Maybe that kind of silent sea right, can also be a kind of something other than just a threatening space, like it could become something not negative. And I've had this feeling when she died that I was somewhat, because I was so close to her, I think, uh, that I was somewhat uninvited. <laughs> after her life. That, that you were uninvited after her life. There was something there that I now had to do my best to still be. Like she was requiring that of you, or? No, that she, she had been a safe place, and with her gone, I would have to fend for myself. I see. And prove see. my own worth without a safe place to just as she did. Just as she did. To work hard to prove your worth. A lot happened. Uh, there was a lot, a lot of shifting, and that's what we want, of course, in a therapy session: is is to, for things to change, for things to shift. It certainly doesn't always happen, and certainly not always in a in, in a single session. But if you were to describe from your perspective what happened there. Huh? How would you answer that? You can change 24 years in an hour, permanently, um, if you find the, the key uh, to the door that, that opens onto a different space. The, the thing is, the client always has the key. They just don't know where they left it. Um, and so partly what we're trying to do is to find the key. For her, it's the key of that box of pain and sadness that mom has been trapped in for 23 years. And ultimately, we release mom from that box and allow her to help her daughter carry it. And so mom becomes recruited as an ally rather than a nemesis. Mom isn't a liability anymore. She's a resource. 